Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. I'm a registered EEG technologist. I record patients' brainwaves for the doctor, mostly for epilepsy. And in today's video, I wanna go over some interview tips. If you're just graduating EEG school and you need to get a job, what kind of salary should you be asking for? What are some tips during the interview? I had this idea because one of you guys in the comments section said, hey, I'm graduating and I need some help. So here we are today, guys. Now, the first thing, when you're about to graduate EEG school, a couple months beforehand, you wanna get a job lined up or at least a couple interviews. So start applying then. Don't wait until after you graduate to start applying. You know, you wanna, you wanna get the ball moving. I've learned from getting two different EEG jobs that, and just jobs in general, it takes a little longer than you think to get everything set up before you can get your first working day. So apply a couple months early, that's the first thing. The next thing, you're gonna wanna apply to as many hospitals in your area as possible. Also, individual doctor's offices, if you think you'd be interested in that. And also some ambulatory companies where they do in-home EEGs. You just wanna make sure that you can secure at least a job somewhere when you're starting out. Now, in the future, when you have more experience, you have more leverage, you can ask for higher pay, you can pretty much pick whatever kind of job you want, whether it's at home remote monitoring, working in the hospital, working at a doctor's office, many options, or even traveling. Traveling, that probably pays the most out of all of them. So, so many options. But first, when you're first getting your job, you wanna to apply to as many as you can, and that way you have options. So in the interview, what do we do during the interview? You're gonna be asked about your measurements for sure. You're gonna to wanna to have that down pat. So practice that a lot beforehand. If you're uncomfortable calculating, you know, the 10%, the 20%, uh, distances for the International 1020 system when you're measuring a patient's head for an EEG. You're going to want to review that. I mean, if you pass EEG school by this point, you've probably been tested on this so many times, it's just automatic. But right before the interview, definitely brush up on it. And also, if you're, if you're applying for your first job, they're probably not going to give you some advanced EEG reading test. They're, they might show you a picture of an EEG where it's like... Uh, what is this? And it'll be some, the wire will be completely off and you say, oh, the wire's off at this electrode. Or they'll give you some obvious generalized spike and wave activity where the whole thing is just epileptic activity. it will be pretty easy to see. And they might ask you questions like, you know, what level of impedance do you want on your recordings when you're hooking them up under 10,000 ohms? That way you get a good quality signal for the neurologist. As long as you have a good grasp on the basics, if you're applying for your first EEG technologist job, you're gonna be fine. Now, if you're applying for a remote monitoring position where you're monitoring ICU patients in the hospital from home, they're gonna give you a pretty advanced reading test and you might need the CLTM credential, the long-term monitoring credential. That'll also help you get that type of position. But if you're applying for your first job in the hospital, It'll give you pretty basic questions. As long as you can answer them, you'll be fine. Now, let's say you answer the questions. The employer likes you and they extend you an offer. Let's say they offer you $16 an hour. What do you do, guys? You say, oh, thank you very much for the offer. I appreciate it. I'll have to think it over. We're not taking $16 an hour. That's when you got to go to the other hospitals in the area, call up the other people, go through those interviews, and that way you'll have better offers. You might get offered 16 at one place. You might get offered 25 at another one. You might get 27 at another one. I suggest for your first job, don't accept anything under 25. If they're not giving you at least 50 grand a year, you could tell them, hey, look, man, they're paying $15 an hour down there at McDonald's. This is a very highly specialized position. There's less than 10,000 registered EEG technologists. I mean, it's hard to find us, especially registered. So you gotta, you gotta know your value. You gotta stick up for yourself because the hospital finance departments, they will take advantage of you if you let them. So you gotta stand up for yourself. And it's a lot easier to stand up for yourself when you have multiple offers. That's why, going back to the beginning of this video, apply to as many places as you can. 
Yes, the EEG technologist is in very high demand and you're, you could probably get it applying to one or two places, but you want the options. You know, in the art of the deal, you're not really negotiating if you can't walk away from the table. So in your negotiations, you gotta have other offers. That's, that's pretty much it. And it'll definitely take some stress off of you as well if you know you're not, you don't need this one specific company to bail you out. You'll have multiple opportunities, multiple offers, and then you can just go with the highest offer you get. Make sure it's at least 50,000 in Florida, but you know, 50,000 in California, that's not gonna cut it either. You know, it's all based on location, but as a general rule of thumb, you wanna start out at at least 50K. And if you aren't getting that kind of an offer, you gotta apply to more places. That's what I would say. Stand up for yourself, we're valuable, and we deserve good pay for what we do. It's highly specialized, so you know, these hospitals are gonna have to pay for our specialized knowledge. I hope this helps you guys out with your job interviews. I wish you guys the best of luck. Hope you get great jobs, great pay. Negotiate for what you're worth. We are valuable. Some of the most valuable people in the hospital. We monitor people's brains. So we should get paid like it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my YouTube if you want some more. And I'll see you all on the next video.